Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever on this Thursday. Uh, as you can tell from the title, Alex Mowat has left Barnsley Football Club, um, where it's looking ever so likely he will be joining uh, former Reds boss, uh, Valerie Ishmael at West Brom. Now, that's not confirmed. However, it's looking extremely likely, and I think we can all agree it's uh, pretty much a done deal. We're just waiting for it to be announced. Um... My reaction to Alex Mowat leaving, of course, obviously it's July the 1st, his contract's ran out at the football club, he's no longer a Barnsley player, um, you know, we've tried our best, and I do believe that Barnsley Football Club have tried the best to keep Alex here, um, I'm not going to sit here and blame anybody here, I think it's a, 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 something that's just, you know, happened, and and it's football, it, we move on from it, you know, Alex, you know, he could have gone last year, he's stuck by us. Um, we 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 act activated that uh, one year extension. It goes with my approval because you know I'm not gonna call him greedy. I'm not gonna call him anything. I, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna you know applaud him for uh, for his efforts since he's been here since 2017 because he's been consistent with us. Um, well, I mean, when he first signed, I think he was unfit. He couldn't really get into. I mean, there was so so much high demands on Mowat when he first joined. If we remember, it was back when we sold Uri Ambry and Winnall. He came in from Leeds. I think a lot of Barnes fans expected him to be another Connor Hurahan, and he wasn't to begin with. Um, and that loan spell to Oxford did him the world of good. And then he got us up from League One, carried us, you know that second season in the championship and then the season just gone where he's been you know one of the best players for us in recent times um he's never come out and said he wants to leave he's never come out and caused issues for the club he's allowed his contract to run out and um i think you know as fans we have to say you know we have to hold his hands up and say, look, we can't, we, there's nothing we can do as a football club, there's nothing we can do as fans. Yeah, it's a shame he's gone, you know, I'm I'm, I'm gutted really. Well, I, I think I'm past being gutted because the longer it's gone on and the week, the weeks it's gone on, I've almost got ready, I've, I've almost been like, he's going, I've almost got used to the fact, no, used to the fact he's going. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's gutting and um, we've got to move on, we've got to find somebody similar to him. You know, um, I think the club could have easily sold him in January when there were clubs eyeing him up and stuff like that and got some money for him and for him to go out on a free, you know, I think it's a big a big, uh, big signing for anybody in the Championship when you're getting somebody like Mowat on a free. Um, but as I said, you know, he is a player who's got to play. He has to play games, you know. He, you can't. He can't be in and out of teams. And West Brom, you know, there's high demands there. I said this about Ishmael. There's high demands at West Brom, um, so he's got to be consistent, even more consistent than he was with us. Um, and I think, you know, if if he if he if he starts dropping down the pecking order, that's when you lose your form, you lose your consistency, and you can slowly peter out and stuff like that. And we we've seen it with players before who sometimes the grass isn't always greener. Um, but you know, I heard it on the radio today and it's stuff like that that Barnsley have offered him the best deal that any players ever had. So how much that is, I don't know, and I would never speculate. But I I, I firmly believe the club have, and and you know, I'm not gonna this into. A, we're not going to sit here and say, you know, they could have done something better, blah, blah, blah. I firmly believe that the football club have offered the best they can for Mowat to stay. And if he's not going to stay, then, you know... And and he's at that... Is it probably the peak, really, of his career? You know, the... I would say 26, 27, you know, whereas now he's going to make a decision. I mean, he's been here a long, long time. I mean, 2017, you know, you think about it. Long time ago, really. Um, and he's gave everything for us when he's had that shirt on. He's been captain. You know, he could have he could have stayed. He could have been... Of course, he could have. He could have, you know, opted for, you know, maybe the lesser money, but definitely 100% guaranteed a captaincy and... Um, first team place i mean he might be the cat he might get the captaincy under ish i mean ishmael's the uh, west brom so he, he might make him captain i mean if he knows what kind of captain he was for us then he might make him captain at west brom um yeah listen like i said you know there's no beef with any of this and how you know he goes we can't we can't we can't we can't be we, we can be upset about it but we can't i don't think we can be angry about it 
I don't think we can because he's been loyal. He's stuck to his guns. He hasn't jumped ship when his contract before his contracts run out. He's allowed it to run out. He's not demanded a move. He's not refused to play. He's not caused any issues. So I think we've just got to hold his hands up, really. Um, and in terms of you know, I I would probably say to a point he is replaceable. I think what we've got to remember is having that leader and that 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 player in that middle of the park you know and, and and having that team and the togetherness you know that's what you lose as well and that's an important thing as forget talent and what you do on the pitch that just having him there is a big factor and having him in the changing rooms training etc all this and that you lose you lose more than you do on a football pitch um so we've got to try and replace him but all, all been well we do and it, and it's a new it's a new time really we have to we have to accept it it's a new time another rebuild job you could say in a way but we've got to see what we can do there's players out there we've got to see what we can do you know free wages more what's wages now um and we'll see what we can do but uh yeah that basically um the the club website says it all of course uh about what i've uh, preferred Almost what I've just said in terms of that, you know, 26 year John in 2017 from Leeds uh, forces make 162 appearances, 20 goals in all competitions. Um, and on uh, Twitter as well, Alex Mowater has left this statement. Um, to all Barnes fans, thank you for your support you've given me over the last four and a half years. It has been an honour to captain this incredible club and share some unbelievable moments that will live with me forever. Uh, we, we came so close to achieving something incredible last season. And although the lads couldn't quite get across the line, it was, amazing, it was an amazing journey and fantastic to see how far we've come since the great escape. However, it is now time for me to take on a new challenge, which means this is goodbye. Again, thank you so much uh, for your tremendous support. Uh, this club and you, and you, the fans, will always have a special place in my heart. And I wish everything, I wish everyone, sorry, uh, at Barnsley the best for the future. Like I said, you can't. That that's a wonderful statement that from Mowat. I have to say, really wonderful. And uh, you know, you can't get on at him. I'm not going to get on at him. I'm not going to sit here and slay anybody involved in any of this. It was, you look at it, four and a half years is a long time to spend at a football club these days. And, you know, you've got to be thankful for Mowat for spending that amount of time with us. And I do agree with him, you know, you know, at 26, like I've said, at his peak, at probably maybe playing the best he has been, it is time for him to move up. And, uh, you know, thank you for his services over them four and a half years. Because, like I said, he could have gone. He could have gone when we were in League One. He could have gone when we got back into the Championship in January. He could have gone um, last season after we stopped up. He stuck it out and, um, you know, fair play to him. Fair play to him. It's as simple as that. I'm good to this gone. Of course I am. I'm not going to lie. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see now who the club brings in and if they are going to be as replaceable. Um, uh, sorry, if they are going to be able to replace Mowat, which... You know, I hope they can do. So anyway, guys, get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, thank you for watching, of course. Stay tuned for more videos, of course. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. You Reds.